like um what was Shankly like, what was Paisley like, what was Kenny like, so the, the lads like that like, me and Darren, we're out, me, me and Darren are only nippers, we're not as old as you, so we're the, we're the younger gen- generation, we picked up the, the torch in probably the, the mid-90s becoming Liverpool fans, but um, yeah, like you asked me dad, what, what was he like and he, he said he's a, he's a hero, he said if it wasn't for the likes of Paisley, Shankly, and Joe Fagan. He said, "The likes of you and your your your, your mates wouldn't be Liverpool fans." You know what I mean? Because who 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 knows what way the club would have went? We we talked about this when we were talking about Ian St John. If um, Shanks hadn't got the managerial job, like he's kind of the forefather. He he's the one who planted the seeds and dig the foundations for the club to be where it is today. And then Bob Paisley kind of followed along and then Joe, Joe Fagan was the last of the great three. I know Kenny came in after him, but, you know, a lot of people look at Joe Fagan as being accredited for um, being responsible for the likes of uh, Roger Hunt, Ian Callahan, and Tommy Smith and bringing them on in their careers, you know what I mean? And Like, who, who better to learn from? Do you know what I mean? He was the youth team manager for them boys, wasn't he? So he would have been the one that kind of guided them, yeah. you know? I mean, but like, who, who, like, if you're going to learn from any team, Two men in football, Bill Shankly and Bob Hazley. You're not going to go far wrong learning from them too, are you? Um, yeah, you know, in a, in his fourth season, winning a treble, and you have the you, when you, you watch the LFC put a documentary. There was a documentary on last. He was only fifty. Like, when he when he was mer- or showed out as the next manager after Bob Hazley, the the whole of the UK media shot him down, saying that he was going to be a failure. And Graham Sionis at that time. The Liverpool force team didn't do team means. Grand Sionis got wind of what was going to be spun in the papers when Paisley walked away and how they were going to front and back page. They were going to slay Fagan and kind of back him into a corner saying, you're going to fail miserably. Sionis brought the force team in without Fagan there or Paisley and said, that's not going to happen. We're going to make sure that he he's successful. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're one season winning a treble, you know what I mean? But I always like when I was watching that, like you have to think where where would the club? I always look at things that happen in the club's history as they they defined where we are now. If they hadn't happened, then we wouldn't be where we are now. Like we wouldn't, Jurgen Klopp wouldn't be manager. We wouldn't have won a Champions League last year or the, the league last year. So like that's all ifs, buts, and maybes. But you have to think if Heysel hadn't happened, how successful would he have been? Do you know what I mean? He could have went on to be the greatest manager in Liverpool history. Treble in his first year, like in a team that. 